Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Today you'll see I've got the Ford GT up here, and that's what we're going to be building the next five stages of the Ford GT from Diagostini Collectibles. Now I have cheated and had a look through the instructions on this. Now stage 53, there's quite a lot to do because we're going to be piecing together pretty much everything we created at the moment. But then from stage 54 onwards, not much to do at all. <laughs> so you're going to see that. As a matter of fact, two stages, we don't do anything at all. We just open the bags. So uh, you know my thoughts about that. If you want to get this for yourself all the way from pack one, I have put a link down here in the video description. You'll also scan that QR code that's on the screen there. That will take you to the 4GT website. It also says that you've come from the World of Wayne website. So uh, all good. I'm eager to get all of these parts together. Once they are together, not quite sure where I'm going to store it because it's actually going to be quite big. But uh, we'll check that out together. Without further ado, let's get cracking. So, stage 53, as I said, there is a lot to do. So I'm just going to flick through the instructions here. And as you see, they're going to start here. So it doesn't look like we've got many parts. But what we have got is to put everything together. So the interior that we created is going to go on the chassis. And then we're going to take the front end and attach that as well. And then we've got these other details that we get in this pack to put together as well. So by the end of it, as you can see, we're starting to look like we've got a Ford GT. So I will take out the parts for stage 53. There is some really tiny things on here and I'm just gonna put them over to one side so I have got them ready for when I'm gonna need them. But I don't need them at the moment because what I'm gonna do is bring over the floor pan that we created. Remember, this is all metal, so this is quite heavy as well. Keeping the wires clear from the internals here, this is gonna go over the top just like this. So I'm just lining everything up and it slots in like that. Now in this pack, we've got FD01 screws. I'm gonna need four of these and they're actually screwed in from the top, which is a bit strange. So the first one's gonna be down here. I have put these into some oil and screw that in nice and tight. And that's the first screw in. The second one is actually hidden. We've got to take off the top of the battery compartment here and we can screw it in from underneath here. So that's the second one in. Once that's nice and tight, as you see, I haven't got any batteries in here at the moment. I'll do that later. I can just put that back on. And there we go, that's that one in. And then we've got two more just at the front into these positions here and here. Now I'm gonna be putting this front subframe in. Now this is gonna go into the holes that we can see here. I've lifted this up, because to get this in, you can see the uh, lugs that we've got at the bottom, which are gonna match these. I need to get these in here. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, just to maneuver into position, I think. I think we're good. I think we got there okay. Now once they're in, I'm going to hold them in with two FD01 screws just in these holes here. That's one's going in there. Perfect. Bit of oil. Let's get the other one in. Make that nice and tight as well. Obviously this is the whole front structure of the car here. So I do want to make sure I've got this in as tight as I can get it. And that is perfect. So as you can see, I've now got this into place. Now what I'm going to do is the steering that we've got just here, the steerage linkages. Let me try and turn it around so you can see. I'm just going to put them over the steering here. Perhaps I should have done that when I uh, put the car in, but uh, I'm going to try and adjust it so that I can get this round. Yeah, I think I uh, should have done that before I really tighten this up. So I'm going to keep it loose just so that I can put the rings which are coming from either side of the steering just over the holes here so this is going to be tricky stand by there we go that's one in do the same on this one and that one's two now i can tighten this up perfect 
again as tight as I can get it. So because those linkages are on the wheels now, when I turn one wheel, as you see, the other one turns. Perfect. So I'm just going to turn it over. It did put it on its side, but what it wants is a stabilizer bar now to be linked just to this section here. So it's just a clip on. As you can see, we've got one in there and I'm going to do the same on the other side. I can pick it up, just going over the edge, just here, like that. Now this is the stabilizer bar here, which is gonna clip into the other side of those what I've just clipped in. So one this side, and pushing it in, one the other side there. Still loose, as you can see, but we're about to put that squarely in place by putting these braces just over the top. I'm going to be holding them in with the FD-01 screws again, looking like this. So I've got some oil on this and get these screwed in. So that is going nowhere. Now, as you can see, I've been putting these FP-01 screws in every other hole that we've got down here. The only holes that we don't actually put these in, tighten that up, are these two front ones. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, all in place there. Let's turn this back over. That's really reinforced now. And all we got left then is these brake cooling air tubes looking like that. And quite simply, hopefully on one of the cameras, you'll see it. One end is gonna go into the wheel just here on that large section there. The other side's gonna go in here. So if I just push this in, that's one in. Let's get this one in here. They are quite a, a tough push. Get that one in first. This one's open at the top here, so this is easier to get in. So you can just slide that in just like that there. So it's over the top. Do the same on the other side. There we go, that's the other one just in this side. I'm just gonna put it over this edge here and then manipulate it so it's nice and flush with this edge here. And they look like that. That's all there is to do in that stage. So that's the hardest stage of this pack. That wasn't too hard, to be honest with you. Let's put that to one side. Now the rest of this build, there's not much to do in this pack. So let's do stage 54. Again, I'm gonna show you the magazine and you'll see exactly what I mean in a second. We've got these three items and two screws. We're gonna be putting this into here screwing it in and then putting this plate in as well. That's it, let's do this. So first thing to do is to take the front lamp, which looks like this. This is gonna go over the top here. It has got a little uh, slot for this to go into. So it's gonna fit flush on there and we're screwing it in with these really tiny screws. Look, check these out. These are FP05 screws, they're tiny. Okay, let's get this in. So tiny, I might need my... Uh... I might, we should be good. I'm gonna say I might need my magnifying screwdriver. Uh, they are so tiny, I thought I might need my magnifying glasses, but uh, no, I got that in. So that's in like that. All we have to do then is just line up this lug over here onto this side here. So just match everything up and that fits in perfectly, just like that onto the plate here. There's no screws to hold this in because it holds this in itself and that's all there is to do in that stage. So moving swiftly on, stage 55, this is the magazine. And again, we are now gonna be doing the radiator, two parts here, we're gonna be building onto what we've already created. So at the end, we are actually mounting this onto the car as well. So here's the radiator in here. Once again, I'll get everything out and ready to go. Okay, you see we've got some holes just in this side here. We do have a lug just on this side that we wanna match up. And this is going to pin both of these together just like that there. So this is what it looks like from this side and the other side there. Now I want to hold this in with these FP01 screws I've got here. It's going to take two of them. So that's one in. Let's just do the other side. 
and get this one in on this side as well, make them nice and tight. Now I've got a radiator box to put on, and that looks just like this. There is again a locating lug just there, so it's gonna dictate which way round it goes, and it's gonna go on here, and it's just gonna push in like that. Gonna bring over the car, so you can see the front end here, and these lugs just at the bottom are gonna be fitting into these points just here. I don't know if these should be free. I think they should be. So I'm just going to push these back under. One second. I want these this side because I'm guessing these are going to eventually go into the radiator. So I've got them there. The radiator is then just going to go into those slots there. Like that. And they're held in again on the other side with FP01 screws. So I'm going to put this on its side. That's perfect. Let's make sure I've lined this up again. Just so I can get these screws into place over here. So that's one in nice and loose. Just while I do the other one. And then those pipes that I've just freed up here. We're going to be putting them into the radiator. I've got them pinched one. Isn't that typical? One second. Let me just unpinch that wire. <laughs> so we've got two wires here. We've got a long one and a short one. As you can probably see on the side camera. The long one is going into that radiator box at the top. The short one's going into the hole at the bottom. So I'm going to get these in. Hard to show you because I'm going to do it while it's on its side. So let's do the top one first. You're not going to need glue or anything. They really do hold well in here. Do the bottom one. And then I'm going to show you on the close-up what that looks like when they're in. And that is all there is to do in that stage. This is what that's looking like from the front. And that's all there is to do in this pack. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You realise there's two other stages. Let me show you them. I'm going to bundle these together. So stage 56. Here's the magazine. I'm not even going to open them, to be honest with you. But as you see, we've got a wheel. Looking like that. And in stage 57, here's the magazine. Again, flicking through it. And we've got the rim. Which we can do something with let's do stage 57 hang on a second i'm going to keep this in its bag though there's no point in taking that out but with this one here let, let's do this because this this is definitely going to need some instruction it's a uh, quite a tricky pack this one or should i say a, a tricky stage and we do need to make sure we get this right as you can see we've got four pins and we're just going to be putting this over the top of those pins there and that's all there is to do in that stage. <laughs> I've got to make light of it, haven't I? I mean, it started off loads to do. Um, but yeah, we've got the rim, the rim, and the wheel. That definitely is the end of that pack. If you like what you see and you want to do this for yourself all the way from pack one, I have put a link down here to the Diagonal Collectibles website and you can join the build with me. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.